Hi, I'm Christopher Moss and welcome to this third video in our Learn Symphony tutorial series. In this video we're going to be looking at creating our first bundle. We're going to be looking at what's been created for us when we use the Symphony command to generate a bundle. Uh, we're going to be looking at adding our first route. Now, if you don't understand routing and this is all new to you, don't worry. It's actually a lot easier to show you rather than try and explain it. Uh, we're going to create our first controller. Again, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. Basically, a controller is just something that handles our data and turns it into a, an output and then passes that over. It doesn't have to, but it passes it over to our template, which will then be rendered and displayed to us in the browser. So again, don't really worry if uh, if all of this is you know new to you. That is, after all, why you're watching a tutorial video like this. And uh, right, so as I say, this is the third video. So if you're not too sure how we've got to this point, uh, please watch the first two. However, if you already have a live Symphony environment, then this is probably where you really want to start. So to do anything at this point, if you remember from the second video, we deleted the Acme demo bundle. And at this point, that was the demo bundle output. I've not refreshed that page yet, but if I did, I would lose this output. I don't want to do that because I want to show you at the end of it how ours differs. Um, but it, currently, there's nothing in our, our Symphony install, as we can tell from the fact that our source folder is empty. And it's just giving us this error message, or it, it should do. It might need to stick a, yeah, whatever. It's giving us a 404, and there's this helpful bar at the bottom which we'll go through again um, in a later video. So the first thing we want to do is actually generate ourselves a bundle. Just going to go to symphony.com, documentation, view more. You will spend quite a lot of time on symphony.com and you'll get used to it. Um, creating pages, I'm going to scroll down a bit, make sure that we're on master. Always make sure that you're on the master version unless you specifically need to be on a, another version. And then we need this command. So I'm just going to leave this at the top of the screen as we don't need that bit there. there. Right, I'll just stretch that out so that this doesn't all go off one line. Okay, so we're in our Symphony install folder and we're going to do... Oh, I can just paste that bit in. So, ah, what happened there? Ooh, what a noob. All right. So it's asking us for our namespace again. If you don't understand namespacing, don't worry. But um, just to give you an example of of how I do it. I'm just going to call it MCM, as in Moscow Media, the name of my company. Slash, and then we're just going to call this uh, the demo bundle. Highly imaginative. You can call it whatever you want. Um, make sure you get that slash the right way around, or it will moan at you. And then we want to do it in the format equals YAML. Okay, that's going to ask us some questions. It's going to accept the default bundle name and default directory. Do we want to generate the whole directory structure? I always say yes. God knows why. Um, you're going to create blah, blah, blah. Do you want to confirm it? Yes. Should we automatically update the kernel? Yes. Yes. And cool. Right. So, one thing to note, if you're using an IDE like we set up in the uh, the last video, this has all been created on the server side. Remember, we're working on, on our development environment. We're working on the Windows. Um, but the files at the moment have only been created on the server. So the first thing we need to do is do a tools deployment download. And that's got our bundle. And also, if you remember, uh, it says in here, do you want to automatically enable the kernel and automatically enable the updating of routing? So we need to download app kernel. Yes. And we also need to download the routing, routing, routing. I'll just download the whole thing, sod it. All right. So if we go in that kernel, yeah, see, it's not really done anything. Ah, oh, there we are. There we are. Yeah, I was looking in there. Um, see, that's where we deleted the demo from. But if you look there, well, that's probably not going to make much sense. Anyway, sorry, it's already done what we want it to do. I like to put a, a line in there so that if we're adding tons of our own bundles, we know what is ours and what's other people's. Um, yeah, it's very good. Uh, routing. Let's see. 
So what this is telling us, again, I understand that you don't understand routing properly at this point. What this is basically saying is in the master, in the app, which is like the top level of our um, project, we have this routing file, which it will always look in first. And then it's going to be pointed from here to, well, what is it saying? MCM demo bundle, resources, config, routing. So all our actual routes for this bundle will be done in here. So you're probably really never going to be changing much stuff in, in here. You can do everything out of there if you wish to, but it's not really best practice. So we're just going to close that down. So by default, it's created us some stuff. You can ignore this dependency injection um, folder. The, the folders that we are going to concern ourselves with really are the controller, the resources, and specifically the config and the views and also the tests. We're not going to cover that at this point. But just to show you what's been created, we've got this. It's been properly namespaced. This is our default controller, and it's been put into a namespace, which is a little bit like if you've not... Uh, I'll tell you what, actually. If you don't understand namespacing, go to kmpuniversity.com and look. They have a, a really good video. A lot of these videos are really good, by the way. So... Um, but I think you've got to pay for some of them. In fact, I know you do. But yeah, watch that video. That will explain namespaces to you better than I can. Um, effectively, it's just like a Windows file path. Um, but it, it doesn't fully correlate to that. So yeah, watch it. I'm probably going to confuse you if I carry on. Um, it's created our default controller. Notice that the file is called default controller and notice the capitalization. And again, that's repeated in there. Symphony actually looks for this um, to be called uh, exactly like that. You know, the capitalization really matters. Um, let's see what else have we got. It's created as a default index action. Now, if we go to, let's see if we look in the routing, we can see by default it's created as a default route as well, which goes to... So what this is saying is when a user browses to slash hello, slash something, a variable that the user can change, it will send us to the controller in the MCM demo bundle in the default controller. So that actually means that, but you never put controller after it. And then it's going to go to index action. But again, you never put action after it. So if we look in our default controller, you will see default controller index, which starts lowercase action right and then that variable name matches exactly with that so if we change well we won't change that at this point we'll just go through it and then we can see this is going to render a template from the mcm demo bundle um yeah mcm demo bundle bundle default um view so that's not the controller that's the at this point, if you're rendering stuff, it comes out of the views directory. And we're saying, look in the MCM demo bundle, look in the views directory. You don't need to worry about that in this default directory. And load a file called index.html twig and pass in to that twig file a variable called name. Name, right? And then we've got hello name. Hopefully that's kind of clear. If you're thinking, like, huh? Like, well, I'll show you, like, the naming at the moment is a little confusing. So we'll change some stuff up and hopefully it'll become a little bit clearer. I'll just drop that down. So if we go now to, where's our root? Slash hello, slash name. We should get some output. Uh, I'll, get rid of, I'll leave it up for now. Hello. And then we'll just say Peter. Peter. Hello, Peter. All right, and then... Let's see this, uh, yeah, you can see anything that's passed through is basically that's the variable and it will get passed through from the root. The root expects that to be there. So we can take that out, see what happens. See, no variable, no root. Um, let's just see. Yeah, so it expects that to be there or it won't work. Okay, so... This has all been created for us, which is all well and good. But what if we wanted to add in a second route? Well, 
let's just right uh, in, in anything called dot yaml dot yml you need to make sure that your spacing is correct it matters uh, we're going to call this demo new page and we're going to call that um, what should we call it uh, god I god knows um, mm, oh man mine's gone totally blank that's terrible uh, tutorial yeah uh, sorry for wasting your life and then we're going to give it a variable of my variable oh can't type either and then we're going to go to a new controller called Chris and we're going to go to an action called Rupert Rupert controller Rupert action right I'm going to call let's copy that paste it remember it's called Chris Chris controller yes Chris controller we're still in the same namespace MCM demo bundle controller so that doesn't need changing don't worry about this extends bit and we called our action Rupert Rupert action Rupert action right and I'm just going to leave that as name at the moment see what happens remember we changed it to my variable and we're going to render a new template in a different folder called uh, Bernard Bernard folder but we might as well take a copy of that and paste that in there and we're going to call our template uh, I was going to call it Twiggy but that's probably stupid um, as the for as the for as the for template remember we've got our variable name wrong but we're going to put it right in here hello my variable hello my future girlfriend <laughs> oh my god stop it all right so what did we call it oh god we've only just done it tutorial tutan son tutan uh, no root found remember blah 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 no root found tutorial blah 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 and there should be demo new page tutorial my variable mm -hmm. uh, let's try again right so what it's saying is um, the controller requires that you provide a value for the name argument because there is no value given yeah, so it's expecting us to have this name variable which we have deliberately not put in there. So we're just going to update that just to prove that you will get the wrong, um, you'll get errors basically. You want to see what they look like so that you're aware of them when they will happen to you inevitably. Uh, my variable. And these don't have to be the same. This could have been called something like cheese. And I remember that's passed to our as the fifth template. So we need to update that as well. Whoops. Bernard. And our template's called as the fur. And we're passing in the cheese variable. And the variable is called cheese. Um, hello, Blair. Sir, there you go. That's basically what we saw before. But if you notice, they did this using this weird um, syntax. Like these are called annotations. And I don't particularly like them. Um, they are essential when you come to other stuff like doctrine which we'll cover later on. But for routing, personally, um, I think this is quite a, um, I think it's messy, honestly, and I think comments should be left for comments, not for, um, yeah, so it's a personal personal thing. You can do it like this, and I forget exactly how you do it like that, because I never do it, because I don't like it. But you may come across other people's projects where they've done this, and just to give you a very quick explanation of what this is doing, it's cutting out the fact that you don't need to put in a root, so you don't need to use the roots file. It's telling us this will use this as a root, and it's defines like inline, and it's giving it a root name. So same thing, that bit there would become that bit there, and the root definition is there. Um, yeah, there. Sorry, the pattern. 
And then because you're already in the controller, you don't need to tell it which controller to use. So it just uses this action. So it sort of negates the need for this line. And then what this is saying is render to a template with the same name. So I think that would have gone to hello template. I think that's correct anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Something like that. I don't use it. I think it's horrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've done our first, we've added our first root. We've added our first controller and we've created our first template. Hopefully that kind of makes a bit of sense to you. It's just remembering to remove controller after the controller bit and the don't put the action bit after the action but yeah so it's like yeah hopefully you get that and then yeah we're done so hopefully that video was like pretty painless um from here you can you can pretty much start using symphony actually uh but m some of the more like common stuff like uh, using the access in the database and doing forms and stuff is going to come up later but anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next video